Hello class. I've learned from experience that demonstrations are more valuable than just theory. So I'm going to demonstrate the operation of this program here on the basic stamp controller board. This is a development board that's designed to do tests. It has a breadboard to build your circuits. Here is the mic controller. You have an on and off switch. I have built two circuits, an input circuit and an output circuit. The input circuit consists of a switch that I can move from position up to position down. And I've also constructed an LED red to indicate when the voltage is on or off. And I've applied a 9 volt power support power supply to the source. Once again, this program is designed to read the input at port zero of the mic controller, save it in X. The process consists of taking the value of X which could be 0 or 1, and changing it to its opposite and resaving it. And then finally, that value will be used to control the value of the voltage at port 15 on the output. And then it repeats the process. First, I will download the program to the microcontroller. Okay. Now the program is loaded into the microcontroller. Right now, you can see that the LED is off. Now I will move the switch to the opposite position. Now you can see that the LED is on. Why is this? It's because of the program that we've downloaded to the mic controller. The value at the input to port 0 is 0 volts. The program takes the value of the mic controller, saves it as a 0, and then the process changes that 0 into a 1. That 1 is then used by the mic controller to turn the output to 5 volts. Now, I will show you when I move the switch to the opposite position. When I move the switch to the opposite position, the value is read as 4.99 or very close to 5 volts. The mic controller now is beginning to read that value as a 1. The program then takes that 1 and change it to its opposite, which is 0. That 0 is down, then used by the mic controller to control the voltage at pin 15. 0 means 0 volts. Therefore, the LED is off. Now this process repeated many times a second. So for us who are observing the output of the program, it seems like the LED is being directly controlled by the switch. But we know that it is actually the mic controller processing the data at a very fast rate. In the next video, I will show you that the second program operates in a very similar manner. Thank you.